This is the book of Revelation, chapter 19, and verse 20. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Revelation chapter 19 and verse 20. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises on that glory to Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Racha Kodash. Double honors to our venerable apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. It's a brother Haran coming back at you with another lesson, lower and be edifying and uplifting unto the elect. All right, now I'm going to title this Once They Make It Mandatory. Okay, once they make it mandatory. And, um, this comes from uh, an article that I just uh, actually went through and it's titled Palm Payments More Accessible with Pickup from MasterCard Amazon App. Okay, so as you know, you've been seeing and hearing lately, especially, um, you know, there's been quite a lot of uh, controversy, okay, between the House of David and the House of Saul. Okay, and that's talking about the... Um, the men of uh, the prophets of the Lord, starting with the apostles of Great Millstone on down, and uh, going against uh, the uh, the false prophets out there uh, in in the camp of the IUIC. Okay, they they they're not teaching, you know, the truth of the Bible as the, the Heavenly Father has ordained for us to teach it, which makes them false prophets. All right, now how do you identify who's a false prophet and who's a real prophet of the Lord, based on what they say and if it comes to pass or not? Okay, now this very topic here in regards to the uh, what the mark of the beast is, all right, starting from, our, again, once again, our elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, the, the narrative hasn't changed, okay? The truth is still the truth. It hasn't changed. If anyone asks you, what is the mark of the beast? The simple answer is the RFID microchip, point blank, period. And as we read, again, everything is shifting to that. We're, we're reading biblical prophecy and we're explaining to the world what exactly uh, the prophecies mean. Because these things are, are happening in our lifetime. And of course, you will be affected by the outcomes of these um, current events. Okay. So when you have an article like this, which we're about to go into, you can't, there's no way you can insert that the, uh, the mark of the beast is uh, sins. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, um, what, what's, what's, what's the new thing that they say now? Sin, sins in all its various ways, both political and religious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How, how do you buy and sell with something like that? What kind of shit is that? You know? But very soon, everyone is going to be pressed, all right, by the decision of either taking it or not taking it. Right? Like the Hamlet, um, uh, the Shakespeare uh, 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 writing Hamlet, all right, uh, to be or not to be. Okay, that is the question. All right, to take it or not to take it. That is the decision. And very soon, everyone is going to be at the, at the point where they have to make that very decision. And, you know, us over here, we're not, we're not, we're not even thinking about it like that. All right. It's not, a, it's not a decision that needs to be made. It's simply, oh, it's here. All right, cool. We're not taking it. Let's move on. What we got next? That's it. Anyway, let's read this. It says, major financial players have laud lauded the potential of palm payments. China has explored palm biometrics for transit and major sports are embracing palm scans for payments and access control. Okay. So again, this is all part of the ingratiating process, right? The steps leading to the ultimate uh, destination. Okay. It says the modality continues to see uptake for real applic uh, retail applications. So all, all, all aspects of life, every sector of society, is partaking in this right now we're in a stage of what they call uh, reimagining society okay so everything is becoming digitalized and in order and once it's all digitalized in order for you to partake in this new digital society you have to be plugged into this digital world hence you have the internet of bodies okay and, and how are you going to be able to be connected the basics of connection is to have an rfid chip in your body in your hand or on your forehead which is a brain chip Okay, but the majority of the people are going to take it in their hand because it's very, it's, it's a lot more, it's convenient, I should say. Okay, and that's how they're going to pitch it to the people. They're selling it, all right, as a form of convenience, right? Right now, it's not picking up. 
right now it's not it's just it's they're setting it up once it's time for them to actually roll it out and make it mandatory they'll create a, a, a problem okay they'll create a problem which will which will present the, the the motb as a perfect solution okay because once you take away somebody's food you know you take away their comfort you take away their safety you know you do it long enough right they're not going to care about whatever situation they're provided as long as you know you give them a little bit of food to sustain them right you give them a, a small little cabin as a shelter right and a little small little comfortable bed you know what i'm saying and the and the means to keep on with that same comfort that you're giving them they're gonna do whatever okay and that's the stage that we're in right now a lot of people can't make they can't pay rent you know um you're working two three jobs you know and and you come back home and it's like yo your jobs are not paying you more but it seems like every paycheck you get it just flies out the window okay and the scriptures tell you and especially if you're an israelite the scriptures tell us that this is part of the curses okay the book of haggai the first chapter i believe the sixth verse it says you have sown much and bring in little ye eat but ye have not enough ye drink but ye are not filled with drink ye clothe you but there is none warm and he that earneth wages earneth wages to put it into a bag <clears throat> with holes okay in other words you get paid and the next thing you know bills are right there or some shit happens where you just got to pour out that money you know you work so hard with your own plans on what you're going to use the money for and the next thing you know damn this came up and it's so important the money got to go you see so you're almost working again like the scripture says you're working and putting your 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 wages in bags filled with holes right and that's part of the curses of being here in america babylon the great all right but it seems like nowadays the the, the holes in the bags are bigger all right than usual all right so a lot of people you know you're working harder and harder and harder but it seems like you're making less and less and less they're taxing you out the ass you know what i'm saying all these different things that's happening all at the same time inflation you know there's a lot a lot of things going on everything is 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 has been upticked by percentages you know it's an eight percent inflation rate oh it's an eight percent this or oh, it's a seven percent that shit adds up man that shit adds up all right but it's all again setting the stage for them to bring this new form of uh lifestyle okay it says and the modality continues to see uptake for retail applications with payments uh payments provide providers and retailers shaking hands on several deals involving palm biometrics very interesting verbiage is that shoppers in uruguay can now pay with palm at english store outlets all right so we're, we're definitely closer and closer to that that thing man okay it's beautiful it says mastercard is expanding its global biometric checkout program in latin america with a new retail activation in uruguay a release says the global payments giant is partnering with ingenico fulcrum biometrics fujitsu uh fontech and scantech to launch how many how many was that one two three four five okay interesting to launch um to launch an innovative biometric payment experience using palm biometrics at tienda inglesas red express outlets this is the first deployment of palm biometric uh for biometrics for mastercard's biometric checkout scheme now mastercard is huge out here in america too all right so just because they're targeting um different parts of the world here in this case is talking about uruguay let's not forget that this is just an outreach for them but their main base is here in america babylon the great okay so if they're just reaching out with their tentacles then understand that the home the home base is going to be secured already okay it's just a matter of time at this point all right and very soon you're going to have people in long lines going to get their chip in order to be validated in the system all right it, it all ties in with your digital id okay so continue says um it ain't it it aims to enable faster payment uh-huh and reduce lines at checkout and will integrate with loyalty programs there you go benefits right <laughs> um shoppers will have the option to register their information payment credential 
and biometrics in store, which thereafter allows them to pay with a palm scan. Palm is one of the most secure biometrics for identifying customers and enabling a smooth and seamless payment experience. There you go, buying and selling payment, man. Okay, everything is out in the open. How are these people not seeing it? It says, says Arnold Dubrio, Director of Innovation for Ingenico, digital payments and uh, Ingenico digital payments and e-commerce firm. Cool. It is faster than traditional chip and pin. You see, they, they, they put in the words out in your face, man. It is faster. You, you can't just say, oh, it is faster than our old traditional um, um, uh, debit and credit cards. You can't just say that. Nigga just said, it is faster than traditional chip and pin and offers several tangible advantages, including unmatched security. We are seeing a lot of interest from merchants in the solution that we have developed with ful uh, fulcrum biometrics. Although it is only mentioned in a quote from Scantech General Manager Veronica Bustamante, the system appears to, uh, to encompass palm vein biometrics. Bust uh, Bustamante says, due to its high level of precision in identifying individuals, palm vein technology helps merchants reduce identity theft and payment card fraud, which causes significant losses. It is unclear whether palm vein scans can be used in combination with traditional palm print biometrics or exclusively. MasterCard launched its biometric checkout program in 2022 in Brazil and has since announced plans to expand in Asia Pacific, Latin America, and elsewhere around the globe. See? Amazon One. Amazon One app lets users scan palm veins with a mobile phone. And we've known about Amazon One for like the past year, year and a half now. All right. But again, that that thing that started as a pilot program is now becoming slowly but surely, like we say, ac accelerated gradualism is all being integrated into society. Nowadays, there's nothing for you to go into a, a restaurant and then they just tell you, yeah, this is what we do now. Okay, or you 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 know you you probably at a gas station, and all of a sudden the old ways of doing things have been modernized just like that. You'd be like, what the fuck? You notice a lot of things are under construction right now. The past three four years, there's a lot of construction going on. New buildings being put up, old buildings being renovated. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of new new things going on, and all these new things are integrating this new technology, right? So the world is being built around you, and now the people have no choice but to assimilate, all right, or to comply with the new ways of living, all right, and with a little bit of coercion and, and a, f a little fear tactic of, you know, finding yourself in jail or being beheaded, a lot of people are going to bow the knee and take that thing, man, okay, because it's only right, why would you lose your life if you could just get benefits by doing it, they're going to take it, they, they, they don't know better, okay, they don't think that there are consequences for those kind of actions, because they don't know better, all right, and it's going to be worse for those who know that they're Israelites, but fail to understand what the MOTB prophecy actually means, and they end up taking it. That's that's going to suck for you, man. That you are so close, but yet so far. <laughs> so continuing, it says Amazon was born of the idea that you could shop without leaving home, but the company has increased access to its Amazon One Palm payment service for retail purchases by allowing users to scan their biometrics on mobile. A post on the company's blog says users who previously had to visit an Amazon location with palm scanning device or with a palm scanning device to register their biometrics can now do so using an app on their phone. So they're making it a lot more convenient. You see what I'm saying? They're making it very convenient for a reason. It says that the new Amazon One app lets customers create their online profile by logging into their Amazon account, taking a photo of their palm or palms. Notice that the palm is basically your hand, your right hand, your, fore, uh, your hand. All right. It says, and adding a payment method <laughs> all within the app, says the post. 
When a customer who signed up for Amazon One via the app hovers their palm over an Amazon One device the first time, our AI system is able to compare and match the palm and vein imagery captured by Amazon One device with their camera phone photo. And only at that at this time is enrollment considered complete. See? So if it's not complete, you can't make that purchase. And like I said, all these stores are doing it. Because it's a new thing. You're saving money, right? You're kicking out all these people that are not, they don't want to work. And they demand a lot of money. And they don't do a good job either. There's always some type of conflict and somebody's dramatic bullshit. A lot of these companies are doing away with all these weirdos in the workplace. Okay, everybody want to come in and talk about their gender roles and all this bullshit. Companies are wrapping up with all that BS. They got HR to, to make people docile and to accept uh, this this whole new um, way of thinking, right? Oh, you can't discriminate. You can't do this. You can't speak the truth. All this bullshit. People have accepted it. And now there's a next step of acceptance. You see? It says Amazon One scans palm surface imagery and underlying vein structure to create a unique numerical vector representation called a palm signature for identifying matching. It uses AI to compare palm signatures from the Amazon One app with palm signatures from, from an Amazon One device. This allows us to confirm that the person hovering their palm over the Amazon One device is the same one who signed up for the service using the app, the blog says. All right. And the only precept that you could think about, all right, uh, after reading something like this, is the prophecy of uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter, which we always constantly bring it out. Okay, because again, once once this happens, again, once they make it mandatory, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. There'll be no escape. Okay? And if you don't have your faith on Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you're going to end up taking that chip. And that's, 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 just, that's just what it is, man. That's just what it is. And trust me, it's not going to be sin in all its various ways, both political and, and religious, man. Trust me, it's not going to be that. Okay, you're never going to go to a store and while in the midst of trying to buy shit, them niggas present you with an option of, hey, you want to um, take some of this sin in uh, all its various ways, whether political and uh, religious, so you can complete the purchase. Amazon one ain't talking about no type of sins over here. They're talking about palm scanning and reading your veins and all. They are not talking about sins, bruh. All right. So wherever the fuck these niggas pull this bullshit from, you need to go ask them. But over here, you're going to get the truth staunchly. That's it. End of story. Period. All right. We're not here to baby you. We're not here to cater to your feelings and emotions. We're just telling you what the Heavenly Father says to tell you. That's it. All right. And whether they hear or whether they forbear, the warning has gone out and their blood is over our hands. Okay. There's a book of Revelation, chapter 13, start off at 15. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast and that he is talking about Esau, Edom. Okay, the elites of this world really starts with them. Okay, and they have power to give life unto the image of the beast. Now, the image, all right, goes back to um, the Roman Empire. Okay, that, that image, that lifestyle, everything about the Roman Empire. Like, I always say, when you go down to D.C., all right, specifically D.C., District of Columbia, it is mirroring uh, the ancient Roman Empire, at least Rome specifically. Okay, the buildings, the, stru the structures, okay, the monuments, you know, the meaning behind it, the language that they use is all Latin. See what I'm saying? And where do you see uh, uh, the so-called White House? It, it's, it's, it's right there in, in D.C., right? Uh, the Pentagon is in D.C. Uh, you know, the, the Congress building, all these different places, they're all in D.C. Okay? It says that the image of the beast should both speak. How are they speaking? They're speaking through their legislations, man. Okay? When you pass a law or when you when you when you legislate something you write it down you prescribe it okay and then eventually you make a bill and then eventually it becomes law all right once it passes through the so-called proper channels okay it says and cause them uh, cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed and that's what trump is talking about all right so they're they're they're, they're um they're they're speaking right they're speaking and they're putting out legislations and bills and laws all right, unrighteous decrees and that will and cause as many as would not worship, meaning comply with these new laws and regulations and life lifestyle choices and all this bullshit. Okay, if you don't comply with it, 
you should be what? You should be killed. Okay? And the killing is not just physically, but also you're 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 basically exed out of society. You know, you don't exist. And then eventually they'll 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 get to a point where they'll do it physically where you don't physically exist. Alright, by way of guillotines. Alright. It says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, that's the stage that we're in right now, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And as we always go into the, the word mark, which gives us the Greek word charagma, okay, which means a, a, a cutting or an incision. Okay, the, 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 the mark is left after the incision has been made. If the, the, the wound is going to heal, but well, you're going to see that mark over there. Okay, and then underneath your skin, you're going to see that, that little grain of rice. A little bit bigger than the grain of rice, but you're going to see it right underneath your skin. And that's going to give you access to use everything around you. Your phone, your car, your houses, to get a job, to be identified. Wherever you go, that thing underneath your skin is you. On a digital world, that is. Okay? It says, and that no man might buy or sell. That's the caveat. Okay, that's, that's the trick right there. And like, like we just read, the banks are doing it. Now they, they're shifting into the into the uh, the parts where people have no choice but to deal with it type shit. Public transportation, your regular re retail stores, right? Uh, sporting events, that kind of thing. They're bringing it all in there, right? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Why do you think they're doing away with all this um, ability to make your own money on your own, creating your own business? They're doing away with all that. They're making it harder and harder for people to actually make a living off of creating their own way of living. Okay? So now you have no choice but to depend on whatever they're going to give you, which is all going to be done through some type of licensing or uh, sales or whatever. They'll always sell something to you. They'll always pitch something to you. And once they get the world to be uh, lockstep with that kind of thing, it's over with. All right? Once they make it mandatory. All right? We're hearing this whole... Um, H5, then now it's H5 and 2. <laughs> All right, so now let, let's let's look into that. All right, they got that going on. You know, the whole bird flu situation. So, you know, just paying, paying attention to it. You know, and like I always say, that that's going to bring in the new health passport apps. Okay, global. All right, who that is already talking about it. All right, now they're saying that this summer, the United States is going to be investing heavily in uh, so-called bird flu Vanessa's. So, I mean, come on. Once the Vanessa is there, they have to create the, the need for the use of it. And there you go. All right, there you go. So, yeah, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it all happens, but it's going to be quick. All right, in the name of convenience, uh, you know, efficiency, you know, and so-called security, they're going to bring the MOTB out. And then eventually they're going to push for it to be made mandatory. All right, these corporations that are running the world, now you have a uh, corporatoc corporatocracy, Right? They're running the world. They're the ones coming down with these uh, new laws. Well, if you want to do business with us, this is how we're going to do it. Anyone who wants to do business with us, this is how you're going to do it. And all these other nations, they're all going to fall, line, fall, uh, fall in line with it. And the people are going to be forced all right, to do this thing. And if you're a part of the uh, the WHO treaty, the WHO that treaty, is a wrap. Game over. All right? Game over, man. So, yeah, man, we're inching closer and closer to that day. All right, to that time. The hour of temptation. And Lord willing, the Lord find us, uh, 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 um, you know, worthy to escape those days, man. All right, we pray Yahweh Bashem Shai protect us and open up our minds, all right, so we can see these things and run away from it as far as possible. Okay, but let's get this real quick. Um, <clears throat> There's a book of Revelation, chapter three and verse ten. It says, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them." That dwell upon the earth okay so the trial part is understanding that this is all part of the deception okay Esau again we read the first the first precept right that the the the, um, the false prophet and 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 Satan or the devil all right they, they or the beast I should say all right deceived the world by way of their miracles okay they, they deceived the world and they ended up force uh, deceiving them into taking that MOTB all right but again, it came as a form of temptation. But those who have the spirit and the eye salve and the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it's not going to be too much of a temptation where you're saying this, oh man, am I going to eat today? No, you already know. It's just a matter of time. 
It's just a matter of time for the Lord to come get us up out of here. All right. But in the meantime, he's going to take care of us. All right. And we have faith that he's going to do that. Okay. Because if not, then there shall no flesh be saved. Who is he going to come down to save? All right. Anyway, I'm going to end it off there. Lord willing, you are edified and informed. In closing, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakodash, the water Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And until next time, Shalom.